What up, InStyle? This is Darren Barnett, and you are watching this guy. My birthday is April 27th. I was born in Los Angeles, California, specifically Valencia. Coffee's pretty simple for me. It's like hot coffee with oat milk and cinnamon, sometimes black coffee with honey. I know that sounds weird. Just try it. Just try it. My favorite food is Japanese food of any form. I could live off of noodles, though, so I would probably pick ramen. It's a toss-up between Fight Club, The Departed, and Drive. New York, and it's just one of my favorite places on the planet. So I've heard the saying, I love you means f you in LA, and f you means I love you in New York. I just, I, I just like that better, I vibe with it better. I mean, I've been going, since I started, you know, pursuing acting, I've been sent for roles like that, so it's something that I've been, I guess, having a lot of practice at. I just trusted the, re the direction of Mindy Kaling and all the creatives, and it's, it's been an amazing process. There's more to them than what meets the eye. There's, uh, there's a lot of depth to them that they've allowed me to really explore and portray. Um, so that's been really fulfilling as, a, as an actor to play a role like that. Not really. Although, someone asked me, have I ever had my heart broken? And I was like, yeah, a few times. And they were like, when were their birthdays? All four of the girls that have like crushed me were all born in November. They're all Scorpios. So I don't know what that means, but no, no Scorpios for me, I guess. I'm not trying to like sound cool here, cause I, but this is seriously what I've been doing for like about a year now and I've found it to be life changing. I wake up and say thank, thank you and just have gratitude for like my two eyes, my 10 fingers, my 10 toes, like all like what you consider little things. But in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty insane that you have all 10 fingers cause some people don't have hands try to get off my couch because I'm probably binging some show until 3 a.m. and I am too lazy to brush my teeth and go to sleep, so I stay up till 4 and then I'm like, okay, now I have to, and then I go to bed. <laughs> you know, I just started taking melatonin again and I forgot that that makes your dreams like HD. God, I don't even know if I want to share this. I was in a room and Will Willem Dafoe was in a commercial being directed by I guess I can't name him because it got canceled, so I won't, but he was complaining about him, saying I needed to get him in line, and I was like, I don't know this guy very well. And he was like, follow me. And Willem Dafoe took me into a room and forced me to do space drugs. Like, he was like, these are drugs from space, and I was like, I don't want to do them. And he's like, but I'm Willem Dafoe, and I was like, good argument. And then I had to drive him from New York to Atlanta, watching like an ASPCA commercial like a week ago. It's funny, like movies that make everyone cry, I feel like a sociopath because I don't and I'm just like what's wrong with me and then a commercial like that comes on and I'm sobbing so <laughs> yeah uh, I believe in fate but I don't believe that you should wait for fate I think you need to do your own work and your own right to get you closer to your fate so far I mean the past couple years my life's completely changed so everything has been in order in the ways like I've wanted it to be in terms of like being financially secure and being a working actor so I can say that but I will say that all of the problems that I thought would go away once I like became quote unquote successful didn't go away, they just grew with me. So note to self to continue working on yourself no matter what success you acquire. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do because I wanted to do everything. I wanted to be an athlete, I wanted to be a lawyer, I wanted to be a doctor. And with acting it's like the one career where I can kind of dabble in all of them and somewhat know what it's like to live that life. So I guess my addiction to variety, that's what it is. Friends, because they're all rich. <laughs> Those royalties are nuts, of course friends. Mm, not that I know of, but I don't really entertain unsolicited messages from people I don't know, <laughs> nor meet up with them. So <laughs> maybe I just haven't accepted the offer. Love at first sight. No, I believe in infatuation at first sight. And I think those can be easily mistaken for one another. Honestly, this may sound crude, but a best friend that you're sexually attracted to, in the most simple terms. <laughs> yeah, something simple. A hike sounds daunting for some because it's like, do you really want to go into the wilderness with someone you don't know? So let's say like a nature walk around other people and, and maybe even a group setting so your friends can meet their friends and it's less pressure. And I think you can really kind of get a good sense of someone by who they surround themselves with, so. When I was a kid, um, like elementary school, 
I had this girlfriend that I, we were like, literally boyfriend and girlfriend, like off and on from like first to sixth grade. And um, I would pick a flower for her every morning coming to school. And then she said one day like, you know, these flowers don't smell like flowers. So instead I would pick a flower on the way home, spray it with my mom's perfume and then bring it back the next day so it would smell like a flower. Thought that was nice. Thanks, InStyle. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me today and my insane dreams. And uh, I will see you next time.